At the recent seminar organized by the Faculty of Science, we sat in uh, interdisciplinary groups and uh, various groups discussed questions. And our group discussed the question, what does it take to build a competitive quantum computer? Quantum technologies and quantum computing can very well be the next big thing in the general development of technologies. It has the potential to completely revolutionize the way we communicate, the way we process information. It has some very challenging mathematical problems because it uses the principles of quantum physics. It's a different world, so it requires some very advanced mathematics. The basics for quantum technologies Quantum superpositions and quantum entanglement can be actually achieved in physical systems, in chemical systems, and even in biological systems. On the other hand, the algorithms for quantum computers, quantum communication and sensing are developed by mathematicians and computer scientists. It's between mathematics, physics and computer science. So it's in itself an interdisciplinary area that requires research in all three areas to collaborate with each other, all the way from the technological issues, the experimental physics, all the way through computer science to very theoretical mathematics. The success in development of quantum computing and quantum technologies is in scaling the systems from a small laboratory prototype containing one quantum bit to a larger scale system which may contain hundreds of qubits. And this really requires clean room facilities, microfabrication facilities, dedicated nanofabrication facilities. That's the key to success. Some of the big companies, Google, Microsoft, IBM, are investing a lot of resources into this. And we in the math department have collaborations with Microsoft. The experimental physicists have collaborations with Microsoft. So it's obvious that there, there is an opportunity to have a partnership with companies as well. Science should and in fact does deal with this question because it's a very promising field of the near future development of science and technology. Another thing is the Faculty of Science is rather well prepared already by now to deal with quantum technologies through hiring of uh, good faculty people who are actually at the forefront of this research worldwide. The educational part of the development of quantum technologies cannot be overestimated. Our goal should be to bring up the next generation of researchers and engineers who are very competent in the future quantum science and quantum technologies. It has fundamental issues about our understanding of the world. At the same time, it's a technological problem and it incorporates so many different scientific fields that it's obvious that the Faculty of Science has to get involved in this.